Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Joffy Noodle Legs here today, sorry about that, I was just seeing how much time I've got left on my camera. Um, yeah, today I've got um, a droning video for you. Today I took my new DJI Mini 2 SE out for its uh, first sort of test flight. Now when you get a drone, I advise you to take it out for two or three um test flights on different days with different sort of weather one for many reasons one you want to see how the drone copes with different weather types uh, like wind resistance today was a little bit windy it was a um up high it was about 25 miles an hour gusts um which is quite high I had a not good to fly thing on my drone, but I thought I want to take it up because I want to test to see how bad it was in the wind to see if it was like this. And it was like this. It didn't move. It, it stood up to the ground really, really well. So that was cool. And you also want to take up more than once for test flights because you want to see if it's consistent, if it's good every time, not like just the once. And you want to test it for different things. Like my first test flight, I just want to test out that the camera's working, that the gimbal's working, and that the uh, the, the drone's moving uh, at a nice sort of steady pace. Um, so I took it out on, you've got three different modes on the drone. You've got normal, uh, cine, which is like a slow one, which is good for doing if you want to do sort of like really artistic sort of shoots shots or you got sport mode which is really fast and at sport mode this does travel very very fast but you've got to realize um that it um uses the battery up quick um, i took it out and tried it on the cine today um because i wanted to test out the camera and the clarity of it to make sure it's working fine so that's what i did with this sort of drone today next time i take it out i will probably test the sports mode and test out the camera for photographs it's got a really good camera on there 12 megapixel with a zoom and it also has a um uh, a panoramic camera uh sort of um special feature on there so i want to try that out and then the next time i'll take it out i want to try out all the special features on it or the sort of spiral things or the the circular things or the the droney and all those kind of things all the sort of special features that you get on it today though was just its maiden voyage to see what it's like and i'll tell you now it did really well it's really really cool i think having the ocusync um on here rather than the wi-fi made it fly a lot smoother i didn't get any wi-fi interference which i did on the old drone which sometimes caused quite a few issues like lag and stuff like that so it was quite cool um not having that as a problem so that was cool and that worked really really well um i bought this the other day i'll give you a show of this this little case now this is just for the drone itself, not for the controller. The controller won't fit in it as well, sadly. But now you can buy a cases that fits everything, but that's quite big. It's like a like almost like a little suitcase, and that's too. I don't know about you, but to me that's too big. I tend to have a backpack when I go about. So this is perfect just to keep the drone safe, and it sort of customised the shape of your drone. So this is going to be perfect for me when I put in my drone away so I can just pop him in he fits in perfectly it shuts perfectly keeping it all nice and it, it's got a really nice sort of strong zip so that's when it's in my backpack that's not going to get bashed the gimbal's not going to get broken or anything and the propellers are safe so that's really really cool this I, I can put into like a, its own little bag you know it's absolutely fine because there's no sharp edges it all locks into one your little um controller things go in there so you know it, it, it's perfect like that and that's fine so that's easier to carry around now so that's cool so anyway here's the first bit of footage of me taking off with the drone so here we are this is taking off for the first time with the dji mini 2 se Nice little takeoff, a little bit of a sway because it is windy today. But I wanted to take it out. It 
on my UAV app, it said not good to fly. Um, but I wanted to test it because it was only just over the the not good to fly sort of like specs. So I thought, well, if it does well against this, it's going to do really well against um, a good day. So I took it up and as you can see, it's nice and smooth. And um, if there is any sort of like little jumps, it's because of the wind. Obviously, the drone is very light, so it can get caught into the wind. Um, so now I've taken it up and I'm just testing out that it turns well and that there's no sort of real problems with the drone. And it was a tiny, tiny little bit laggy, as you can see. But this is just because, again, we're hitting the winds. Um, so it's fighting against the wind, which I was expecting it to do, to be honest. But apart from that, it's absolutely um, perfect. It's It's running really, really well. That's a view over my house over there. My house is just on the right of those houses um, over there. So I live in a nice sort of quiet area. So this is just me giving it its first sort of like maiden voyage, if you so. So iron out any sort of problems. Um, it was really nice to fly it because I didn't get any um, Wi-Fi interference signals or anything like that. So it's really, really nice. So as you can see, now it's sort of adjusted to the wind. It's it, it, there's, there's no lag with it now. It's sort of turning really well, and it looks really nice and cool. Um, there's sort of certain things you're looking for when you're doing flight checks. It's with your picture. You're looking at the clarity and the colors, obviously. And then you want to also have a look at the movement. Now, if you've got people walking... Like over there, there's someone walking. You're looking to see, make sure that, that their movement is proper. If you've got a car on the road, you want to make sure that that's moving normally, not jagged. Um, if you do get consistent sort of problems with like irregular sort of movements on things, then I, I, I would recommend doing a gimbal calibration just to make sure that your gimbal's working. working. So as you can see, it, it took off really well, and it 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 was I say quite windy. So there was a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of wobble, but it soon stabled itself out, which is really cool. Didn't go too high there, as you can see. I just I, I did my normal little testing where I just take it forward, back, side, side, and then I turn it just to make sure that it's all working fine. And then I got a bit of height, and then we took it over. And and it was running absolutely fine and smooth with no sort of interference, which was really really cool. So I was so happy to see it up in the ground and and just off the ground at last because I've had it over a week. I just haven't had the time to take it out, mostly because I've been at work and mostly because of the weather. Um, when you're doing it, you have to watch the weather. There is a, a UAV app which you download onto your phone and it will tell you if it's good enough to fly or not. So I had a good. I had a not good to fly, but because the the wind levels were only just over, I thought, I'm going to give it a go. I'll give it a go. I want to test it on its first flight. If it does well on this, I know it's going to be great on a normal good to fly day. So that was really cool. And so I took it out for a little run. Uh, I took it up a bit higher and I took it over towards my house and then over towards the graveyard and then I landed it. So as you can see, the colours are, are really vibrant. They're not too vibrant. It, it's still got that sort of natural look. You see that patch of uh, heather there. It looks really, really nice. And as you can see, it, it's it's moving a little bit sort of like... Um, well, when I when I downloaded it onto my phone, there was zero sort of lag. But So this could actually be a problem with my app um, that I'm using here. Because when I uh, took it out and didn't... There was absolutely zero lag on it whatsoever. And when I've watched it back, there's no lag. So if there is any sort of lag on this picture here, that's going to be down to this app that I'm using. Um, so if that's the case, then what I might do is just upload the video without using the app. Um, I think that the reason why I'm using this app is because I can use this voiceover thing on it. Uh, on my phone um, so uh, anyway as you can see it's nice and the, the clarity there looking over my area where I live um, it looks really really nice and clear 
so the camera on this is um, 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of overcast there. It does say 60% clouds um, in the sky today. So you will get some shadow in um, on, on, on the video when there is that kind of uh, uh, amount of clouds. So that's, that's quite normal. So if you want to get more clarity down below, you need to point your gimbal downwards. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just testing everything out. I'm testing the gimbal, making sure it goes up and down. I'm testing that it, it turns and and it, the, the actual drone moves nice and smooth. All, all, all these sort of things, really. So I'm going to head over towards sort of like the graveyard area now. And when I get over towards there, I'm going to take the drone slightly higher to have a look down the valley. But it performed really, really well. I was really chuffed with it. And as it, and because it's like I said, it's got this OcuSync um, on there, it, it didn't have any sort of uh, Wi-Fi interference, which was lovely. Because the other one, when me and the lad takes it up, it always says, oh, Wi-Fi interference. So and that can be a bit of a bit of a problem sometimes when you when you're trying to take some nice pictures. So this is the graveyard. This is a one of Sullivan's walking routes. Um, he likes to walk there. And that house on the left there. I know the woman that lives there. She's lovely. Um, so everything seems to be going really, really well. Cars moving nice, normal. Which is great. Again, if there is any lag that like I just saw again there, that is this app. Because when I watch the video on my phone, it's it's soft and it's smooth so i think when i run this video through other things it um it has a bit of lag so what i'm going to do when i've posted this video up i'm also going to post just this footage up on its own without being through the app to see if that runs smoother than it does on here so i'm going to test all that out and if that's the case i'm going to have to um not run unfortunately run this through this app but yeah that's where i live over there and this is all of salby bridge here yeah all this sort of um lag sort of thing that's happening there didn't get any of that when i watched the video back on normal so i really do think it's because i'm running it through this app But there again, once it's um, once I've done it, because at the moment I'm I'm making this video up on this app. Once it's done, it might run completely smooth, so it might be absolutely fine. But at, at the moment, I can see a tiny little bit of lag on this actual video. But that's just down to this app, I think. But I was really happy with the first flight. It did really really well. I'm bringing it down now towards sort of like where I am. I'm standing by a bench out on just outside the allotments there you can probably just make me out in the top getting a bit closer to me now so uh now i'll just lower it down and i'll try and give you guys a little wave um but yeah really really cool i didn't go too high I went about 37 meters. You are permitted 120 meters. So you can see that I can actually take it a lot, lot higher if I wanted to. But because I had a not good to fly in the winds, I thought I do not want to uh, overdo it on its first flight. But yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of overcast there, some rain clouds starting to form. So I, I just sort of turn the camera around and, um, and and I sort of bring it back down towards me and I land it. Again, all this sort of like jolty lag thing that I've seen here on this video, it, it it's not, um, that didn't happen. Uh, I think it is just this app. So if you want to, I'm going to put it up as this, 
but then also I'm going to put it the video up footage up outside the app so it'll just be on its own um, and I'm going to have a look and you can have a look to see um, if it is just that this app that's causing this little bit of lag So as you can see, it was a very, very successful first flight. Uh, really happy with that. It, it it performed brilliantly against the wind. And I, I, I had a big smile on my face when it came down. Um, you saw little clips of me there standing there trying to wave at you. <laughs> but um, yeah, because of the clouds, it was a bit um, overcast. So there's a lot of shadows on, on the actual picture. But I think the clarity is still quite cool. And I like that it's not over vibrant. It's natural colours, which is quite, quite nice. Uh, especially when you saw like the uh, the sort of um, the heather on the ground. It looked really, really nice. It's really cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this little video. Thank you for checking it out. Um, I will be doing some more flight um videos on this and obviously i will be taking it out for some proper flights when i go on my road trips and maybe try and take it out to some different areas around here to give you some views of the beautiful countryside look after yourself guys